Question 5. Let's start from a simplified case where there are only blackbirds and there's only move 3. We claim pn is true, which is if there are n blackbirds, the game will end in n steps. We can prove this by induction. The best case is n is 0 and the game ends in 0 step. The inductive hypothesis is we assume that pn is true. The inductive step is first there are n plus 1 blackbirds. And one step, which is move 3, will result in n remaining blackbirds. By the inductive hypothesis, the game will end in n steps after that. So the game ends in total n plus 1 steps, proving the claim. If we go back to the original problem, there are three kinds of birds and three types of moves. Let's try to prove Q1, which is if there are n birds, the game will end in n steps. The best case is n is 0 and the game ends in 0 step. The inductive hypothesis is we assume q1 is true. The inductive step is first, there are n plus 1 birds, and move 3 result in n remaining birds. However, move 1 or move 2 may result in more birds. To this point, we find we cannot continue the proof. Therefore, we know that we need something always decreased. We observe that one move 1 will decrease the number of yellow birds by 1, but increase the number of red birds by at most 3. Move 2 will decrease the number of red birds by 2, but increase the number of black birds by at most 7. So the question is, how to emphasize the decreasing number of birds? A possible approach is to add weight. So we define a variable wt as 100 times the number of yellow birds plus 10 times the num number of red birds plus the number of black birds. There are some properties of wt. First, it can be any non-negative integer because we can set the number of yellow birds and the number of red birds as zero. So wt is the number of black birds. Second, it is trivial that wt is never negative. Last, we can compute that after move 1, wt is decreased by 70, 80, or 90. After move 2, wt is decreased by 13, 14, to 19. After move 3, wt is always decreased by 1.